Hello there, you small, undesirable little children. Today I shall be showing you some more of my Europa Universalist 3 Empires, except this time in the Rising Nations mod. Now, I know what you're saying, but you've already done this. You've already shown us your empires. Those things you saw before were nothing. They're, they're laughable, minuscule nations. I shall show you some real empires, but they take a while to load, so I'll go ahead and skip that. Alrighty then, now I shall show you nation number one, my greatest achievement. The German Empire. Now, I'm starting over here at the tip of Brazil, just so you can see my empire bits and pieces at a time. Here's my colonial empire. Um, yeah, it's pretty easy. I'm in the midst of doing that. Japan is a colony there, for reasons I cannot comprehend. And we have this over here. I have colonies in, uh, I think I just spoiled... I think I just spoiled the surprise, but oh well. I have colonies in Greenland, and then of course there's my, you know, just all this. Okay, just go ahead and say it, I conquered almost all of Europe. Yes, Sicily, Palermo, is a just a pain to take, so I'm just... I decided against it. Um, yeah. This is my huge giant empire. Yes, that is Ming China right there. They have a colony... I... I don't know, man. Anyway. Yeah, I, uh... Man, this is lots of fun. Uh, yeah, I just, uh, I tore Europe to pieces. And, uh, actually, I'm... I, I tried to form the Holy Roman Empire. For some reason, there's a bug that wouldn't allow me to do that. I started out as... You're gonna love this. West Frisia. I conquered East Frisia and formed the nation of Frisia. And then from there, I formed... Yes. And I'll go ahead and briefly show you the rest of the world of time, too. Because I remember in my other video, for about one second, you could see Italy and Venice and almost entirely conquered it, and that's kind of interesting, so I'm not going to make the same mistake twice. I'm going to look over the world real quick. Um, Sweden has lots of colonies here in Africa. It is the year 1819, mind you. Uh, Great Britain, Spain, Norway, Sweden again. Uh, Portugal, yeah. Lithuania, yes, Lithuania. And here's Head Jazz. Yeah, this is just a really weird game. Vijayanagar went insane over here in India. So did Orissa. I mean, holy crap. Then, of course, there's Ming China, which is just... Oh, my God, look at Ming China. Holy crap, Ming China. God, it's almost like you conquered a whole continent or something. How insane. Hmm. Yes. Uh, Moscow has a c colony? That's weird. Yeah, nothing else much to say. The Ottomans have lots of colonies in Australia. Of course. That just makes perfect sense. Um, yeah, I don't think I missed anything. I'm going to go over here to the New World really quickly. Chimu is over there. Um, yeah. Not much else to see here, really. Okay, on to my next empire. Okay, okay. The save file is called Macedonia. I just overwrote a game as Macedonia I was trying, which uh, failed miserably, I might add. Uh, I'm, I'm playing as... Um, I'm actually playing as Palestine over here. No, I'm just kidding. I'm playing as uh, Yemen. And uh, this game was pretty easy. The, the biggest thing I had to do was... Uh, oh, man, I had to pay the Ottomans so much money for them to, to be my ally. And then I got them to help me in a war with the uh, Memluks. And that was the beginning of the end for the whole entire world. <laughs> yeah, and I conquered uh, all this. Um, yeah, I went into here. Nice thing about being Islamic is that uh, all these uh, nasty Christian nations... <laughs> it's a joke, it's a joke, nobody get angry. Um, I can just declare war on them without losing any stability, which is nice. Brief look, France and Burgundy have gone cuckoo ka -choo over there in Europe. Scotland still exists. Ireland exists, period. That's pretty... Sim yeah, New World is not incredibly bothered. It, I say that, and then... Uh, anyway, there's the Incans over there, and uh, France, and, and all them. East Roman Empire, some colonies in Africa? Of course. The East Roman Empire has actually gotten uh, larger. Uh, as you can tell, the Ottomans do not exist. Alrighty then. So that's that, and West Frisia conquered that. Okay, so this empire isn't anything incredibly special, but it's all right. I like a, I have the shield here. Syria is a vassal of mine, and Iraq is a vassal of mine. So I just 
I have this sort of shield up right there, and Palestine is just kind of over there. I don't really care about them. And so if uh, Persia or the Timurids or Kandar or the Eastern Romans or whatever tried to break in, they'd have to go through my shield. See, that's the idea. And over here, I'm just going crazy. Now for another one. Okay, this one was just a fun little uh, idea I had. What if I conquered all of Italy as the Papal States? Um, it's really easy. <laughs> it's really, really easy. I only haven't gotten Naples and Sicily. Um, oh, and Sardinia and Corsica. But, well, I guess Corsica is Anyway. Um, yeah, I stopped there. I could have kept going, but meh. Anyway. It's in 1427, so the, the world isn't... The game, the game starts in 1399, so 1427 isn't, you know, isn't that far away, so I'm not going to bother to show you the rest of the world. But anyway, there's that. That was fun. And uh, I actually tried to convert to Islam, because I thought that would ju just be so absolutely hilarious to have the Papal States be Islamic, but alas, you cannot. Oh well. And last but not least, my good old game as the Aztecs. Now, this game was a truly bizarre oddity. See, it's my furthest game, 1866, and I I started out, of course, as the Aztecs. Um, right there, that's all I had. And it was so weird. I was just minding my business over here in the New World. Conquering land. You know, doing... When all of a sudden, out of the blue, Huitzilihuitl, Huitzilihuitl the first, obviously, um was elected Holy Roman Emperor. I'm dead serious. It was the year, I think, 1410. And the leader of the Aztec Empire was elected Holy Roman Emperor. Yeah, look at the Golden Horde. Holy crap. I mean, have you ever seen the Golden Horde do that? Oh my god, this Golden Horde is gone. It's, it's huge! Look at the Golden Horde. Oh my goodness gracious. Golden Horde is just a massive, massive nation. But anyway, um... Yeah, as you can see, I, uh, and, and then the option to convert to Catholicism hit me when I was elected Holy Roman Emperor, which did not make any sense. And so I did, and right then and there, I just, I, I took Mesoamerica to town and then just started making colonies, making colonies. And Spain had a whole bunch of colonies right here, but I, I fought a big old war with Spain. It was pretty easy to take them because, you know, Spain is over here, or Castile, sorry, I haven't, they haven't formed Spain. Um, yeah, so that was, uh, that was pretty, that, that, this is a, this is a really fun game. As you can see, decolonialization has already started. We have Cuba being independent here. Granada, a lot of these little islands over here are independent. Um, Latvia is a huge colonial empire in South America. Y yes, I did say Latvia. If you look over here in Europe, I see no Latvia. Well, you do now. <laughs> And I'll give you a peek at the rest of the world. Yeah, Australia is just a mess of of nations all over the place. Peru. I mean, it's it doesn't make any sense. The Golden Horde, obviously, they're all over the place. Japan. Um, yeah. Bihar. Yeah. Somehow, I, I don't know how they did it. Manchu China conquered Ming China. And... Um, yeah. Made it pretty big. Japan, and there's Great Britain right there. And right there. Yeah. Uh, that's about all I have to say, really. That's all my empires. So, um, that's what I've been doing the past couple of months. Just, make, just making giant, giant empires. Now, my problem is, I've kind of run out of things to do. I, I love this game, but I can't think of anything else to do. I've conquered, in, in games you haven't seen, I've conquered all of Africa as Kenya and Morocco separately. I've conquered, uh, you saw my Mughal Empire, I've unified India. I've tried playing as Ming China, but it's no fun at all because you just you basically win from the get-go. Um, and so I, I'm, I'm out of things to do. I can't figure, think of anything else I could possibly... So now it is up to you to decide for me what I should do next. What nation should I form? What... Uh, what should I conquer? What should I do? Because I'm pretty stumped. Alrighty then. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and I do hope you will stick around for my next video, whenever that will be.